2022 was a crazy year and so many things happened. You know, we started a channel off at about 2000 subscribers and now we're almost at 7000 subscribers. So we've pretty much tripled in size in a year, which is insane. And I have to say thank you uh, to all of you guys. You know, it's crazy to me that this channel has grown so much in such little time. When I started this channel two years ago, I basically thought that we wouldn't get to a thousand subscribers in two years and here we are at seven we have grown so much in such little time some other things that have changed in our channels that we started doing shorts you know that's something that i never really thought would gain any traction at all or that anybody would care about them and granted i don't do them very often but i do do them every once in a while and it's you know exciting that they actually people do watch them and they do actually seem to enjoy them but i would like to know your feedback if you guys actually care about shorts or you know if you guys think that they're useless and they're not helpful to you so let me know also in 2022 we got a new microphone where it's completely made it easier for you guys to understand me and it's made it way easier and gotten better sound quality out of every one of our videos looking back at the first year's worth of videos and the audio quality while it was okay it wasn't very good and you hear lots of background noise and lots of scratchiness in my voice and things like that and I pulled the money together to purchase a microphone so that I could help make my voice sound a little bit easier since you're going to be listening to it for, you know, on average an hour and a half per video. So it hopefully helps quite a bit. Also in 2022, I did some math and found that we did 79 videos covering all sorts of topics from Godot 4's new features to Android development to two separate game development uh, courses where we talked about platformers and now our horror game series. So, so much has changed and we've done so much work with an average of about an hour and a half per video, which is something I did want to pull the community on and that is do you actually like my long form content or should I try to distill it down into a short video or should I do both? You know, something I thought about doing was, you know, looking back at my four hour long tutorial that I just released doing an RTS series, I could break that up into, for instance, I could pull out the camera controller into its own video, or I could pull out the building system into its own video or something like that just to kind of break up the video into smaller chunks if people need it to be smaller chunks while also releasing the big video. Or maybe we could talk about some way, or I could just do it all in one giant video and we can call it a day. And I just kind of want to get your guys' feedback and see what you guys think. Now, 2022 was awesome. And, you know, we've done so many things. So looking forward to 2023, we have a lot of things on our plate and it's actually kind of exciting. You know, I want to continue the horror game series and I would love to release it by October. Granted, we'll see how that goes. Knowing me, I'm, I'm pretty slow when it comes to most things. So I hope that we'll get it done by then, but we'll have to see. And I really want your guys' feedback and suggestions. You know, the whole reason why we got the ability to pick up objects and throw them to distract the enemy was because somebody asked for it. And this horror game is as much my game as it is your game in the sense that I want you guys to give me ideas and I want you guys to, to learn from it. So please, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, let me know. I always am up for feedback. Another big thing that's important is asset creation. And I think that the channel should look at asset creation as a whole pipeline. And that's kind of part of what the Blender series is all about. And that is, I want to teach you guys about asset creation, about optimization, about the difference between a 1024 texture and a 4K texture. And is it really actually worth doing one or the other? You know, is the memory usage of one over the other actually worth it? And I think that that's the kind of stuff that a lot of people don't cover. And so I will definitely be making more Blender videos and more asset production stuff. 
I also want to cover Mac and Linux as well. I think it would be good to talk about iOS development and to talk about how to set stuff up on Mac and how to set stuff up on Linux. This channel has been a very Windows focused channel and I'm hoping that we can kind of change that a little bit. I pooled all of the YouTube money that I've made up to this point and I am just shy of getting enough to purchase a MacBook, but I have pooled some of my own money into it and I am have purchased a MacBook as well. So look forward to seeing some videos on how to set up your MacBook, how to, you know, export out to iOS and hopefully how to create iOS modules. So hopefully I'll have those videos out sometime soon. Same thing with Linux, except for Linux is free. That's the nice thing about Linux. So if you guys have any suggestions of an operating system, let me know. I know a lot of people have said to use Arch and I know the Steam Deck uses Arch. So maybe I can do something with that. Plus then of course we would get the ability to test our game on the same operating system as one of the best PC gaming handhelds that are out there. So that might be a good operating system to choose. But I would love to get your guys' feedback, so let me know in the comments below. Finally, I do have a surprise when we get to about 10k subs, providing that I can get everything done by then. There's a lot of work I have to get done, but once we get to 10,000 subscribers, I'd like to give back to the community. And I have been working on something in the background to help with that. So hopefully once we get to 10,000 subscribers, I'll be able to release it and everything will be uh, exciting and fun. Also, I do want to cover more things than just Godot. Now I know we have expanded into Blender, but I really would like to get your guys' feedback and some of your ideas. I wanna know how I can help you guys. If that's, hey, you know, it'd be really cool if you could show me how to build a website in C Sharp, or if it's, hey, you know, I really want to learn about Krita, the painting program, or maybe something else. This channel is for you guys. It's for you guys to learn from. And if you guys want me to just do Godot, I will just do Godot. I want to build stuff that you guys want to see. So please give me any feedback. That's what I'm here for. And finally, a lot of people have asked me how they can support me. And I do have a Ko-Fi and I do have a Patreon. Um, and I have links to those in the description below, but I don't have any expectation of you guys to donate to me. I don't do this for money. I do this because I want to help people and because I want to have a good time with you guys. So any money is not really expected. It is appreciated and it does go towards the channel. It'll purchase new microphones, new audio interfaces, you know, the MacBook, things like that. But it's not expected, and don't feel bad if you can't. And you really don't get anything from donating to me, at least not yet. Maybe I can come up with something in the future that you get access to, but right now it's just donating to me because you believe that I'm helping you out or something like that. So all in all, 2022 was a crazy year, and I'm really looking forward to what 2023 brings to the channel and brings to us as a community. So I wanna thank you guys again for watching and I want to thank you guys again for supporting me and for subscribing to me and being part of the community. You know, it still blows my mind that people actually listen to my ramblings about coding even after two years. But that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for watching. I will see you all next time. Thanks.